Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. In this video, we're going to be taking you through Clark's test for the knee joint. And the purpose of this test is to find out whether or not our patient has patellofemoral joint dysfunction. So as to not slow your video down, we're not going to perform Clark's test on both our patient's right and left sides. We're going to be concentrating predominantly on the right leg in this video. But of course, in clinical practice, we always want you to compare the two so you can clarify your patient diagnosis. So let's go through the test. The therapist is going to place uh, the webbing between their first and second digits on the upper or superior aspect of our patient's patella. We're then going to perform a cordad glide, a glide in this direction of the patella, and we're going to hold that position. We're then going to ask our patient to contract their quadriceps muscle by pushing their knee down into the bed whilst we hold our cordad glide. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to ask our patient to contract, 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 and relax. And that's Clark's test. So a positive outcome in this test is if our patient complains of retropatellar pain, particularly a reproduction of retropatellar pain that they've already told us about in the subjective history, or the inability for our patient to maintain their quadriceps contraction. Both of those outcomes are considered to be a positive. So what do we find with this test in clinical practice? Well, first of all to mention is that it is a very irritable test. Even with patients who don't have patellofemoral joint dysfunction, there's a good chance that you might aggravate um, that joint during the test. So therefore, there's a couple of things we need to bear in mind. Number one, definitely compare the right and left legs to see whether or not the creation of pain is natural for them on both sides. Number two, check that the pain that has been created is a reproduction of the pain that your patient reported in their subjective history. If it's a new pain, something they haven't had before, that may not necessarily tell you that they have patellofemoral joint dysfunction. And thirdly, is there's a way that you can grade your cordad glides to check whether or not your patient's affected leg is more irritable than the other side, which might tell you that, yes, indeed, they do have a unilateral patellofemoral joint dysfunction. So what do we mean by that? Well, we can grade how much we push our cordad glide against the patella. So, for example, we can start with a light cordad glide by just providing a little bit of force as our patient contracts the quadriceps on the right leg and then a little bit or mild amount of force repeated on the left side too. We can see whether or not that's painful. So then we can go to grade two and maybe perform a moderate cordad glide as our patient contracts, and then a moderate glide as our patient contracts. Now let's see at this stage they say, ah oh, yes, I do have pain on my right leg, but that didn't give me any pain on our left leg. Therefore, we've used a gradual build-up effect, and we've noticed that it is indeed a unilateral patellofemoral joint dysfunction that is more irritable than the other side. If you want to, you can even go further and apply even more firm pressure until you found out what you needed to find with that test. 